Hey kids, want to learn some cool facts about the eyes? Well, look no further. We're here with four fun experiments that you can do at home with just your eyes. Eye experiments, if you will. The whole family can play along, so grab them and let's get started. Our eyes are amazing because they allow us to see things and you've got to admit that's pretty cool. And to make that happen, there are lots of different parts of the eye that each have a special job to do. Let's start with something simple. Go to the window. What's the closest object you can see and what's the furthest object you can see? Now, what are the brightest and darkest colours you can see? And finally, what can you nearly see but it's a bit blurry? All of these things mean your eyes are working really hard. Do you have a camera in your house or on a phone? You see, our eyes are a bit like a camera. They both have little parts where light comes in and then when that light goes through, there are millions of special parts that work out what that light means. And that's how we see pictures, colours and lots more. Let's look at a real eye now. If you look at the side of somebody's eye, it sticks out a little bit and looks like glass. This is the cornea. It's like a window at the front of the eye. When light, like sunshine or from a lamp, bounces off the objects around us, our cornea gobbles it up and in the eye it goes. Can you see that little black hole in the middle of your eye? It's called the pupil and it's super cool. Ask the person next to you to close their eyes and cover them for 10 seconds. When they take their hands away and open their eyes, you will see the pupil getting smaller. When it's dark, the pupil gets bigger, so it lets more light in. When there's lots of light, it gets smaller. Now, what colour is your eye? Normally, they're blue, green or brown. The coloured bit is called the iris. This is the coolest bit of the eye. Its job is to make the pupil bigger and smaller. We're going inside the eye now, and this is where it gets tricky, because these are the bits we can't see. Sitting behind the cornea, the pupil and the iris is the lens. The lens is like a magnifying glass, except in our eyes it can change shape instantly. It helps us see things clearly depending on how far away they are. You can try it. Find a book and hold it so you can read it nice and clear. Now, slowly bring it towards your face. It will get a little blurry before the lens fixes it. Did you see that? Impressive, huh? Let's look at colour. How many of these colours can you name? We can tell colours because of the retina. It's very smart. It takes the light and helps the brain work out what colours are there and what shape things are. These travel up the optic nerve and the brain tells us what we're looking at. Thanks, retina. Eyes are always amazing, but do you know someone who wears glasses? Probably. Why not find some glasses and try them on? Pretty blurry, we bet. They wear glasses so they can see better. Not everyone has the same eyesight. And animals have different eyesight too. A cat has better eyes than us for seeing in the dark, but can't see as many colours as we can. Let's do an eye test to see how good your eyes are. Draw some letters on a piece of paper that gets smaller and smaller. Then stand three big steps away and see how many you can read. Write them down and compare them with everyone else in the room. You could try it with your dog or cat, but unfortunately they aren't very good at reading. Or writing actually. Glasses look very cool, yes, but they also have a very special role in helping our eyes do their job. The little pieces of glass or plastic in the glasses are not flat, they're curved. 
When light passes through a curve, it changes the way it behaves. Go and find a glass in the kitchen. It's also curved. Look at things through it. Does it look different? What do you notice? So that's your eyes. Pretty special, right? They're some of the smartest, most fascinating parts of your whole body. So treat them very carefully and they will help you see amazing things forever. Do you have any questions? Probably, that's pretty confusing stuff. Ask someone to write your question below in the comments and we'll make sure that we come back to you with an answer. And remember, if you don't grow up to be an astronaut, footballer or zookeeper, maybe you could be an eye expert just like us. We always have the best glasses, you know.